So three years ago, we moved here. And this is the home where my husband grew up. And before we moved here, we lived in an 1856 plantation home. It was just an old farmhouse, two-story, white. It was beautiful. It was in an oak grove. And when we bought it, it was in bad shape. So we completely redid that entire house and made it our own. And it was home. Um, and due to several reasons, um, probably the biggest one being lack of community. We were way out in the middle of nowhere. It took us 40 minutes just to... Um, to get to some of our friends or church and that kind of thing and we knew that um, Adam's family's home was available for us to move and to to buy um, and we could have land for our farm here um, but leaving somewhere that you feel like is home to you, you've made it your home, and then going somewhere where you feel um, displaced is one of the hardest things I've gone through. Um, and so it has been hard. It's been a hard like nine months. And this was my husband's gift to me. He wanted this to feel like my home as well, and I'm so thankful to him for that. Uh, he has put in so much work, so much work and so much money to make this feel like my home, and it does. It's our home now. So I hope you'll enjoy watching our recap of what we've done here, um, all the anguish, <laughs> all of the late nights, all of the body aches, all of the money spent, um, all of the decisions that we've had to make, hard decisions, um, have been worth it. So I hope you will enjoy watching our journey and at the end of this video, uh, we will start showing you the finished rooms one by one. So, um, if you followed us um, for the last few months, then you'll especially enjoy this because you've seen the buildup of all of our hard work. And um, we just felt like in doing this, the Lord was making this our home, making this my home again. And also um, his purpose for this home was just to be a temple, to be his home. And, um, and literally opening up this home um, for other people to welcome other people in so um, he's done a mighty thing I hope you enjoy <laughs>
need you to see how our supper is being made in our bedroom uh, on a chair in a crock pot and it's okay because it's just okay I'm, I'm just telling myself this over and over again so that I'll believe it it's really okay tears last night about it um it was supposed to be a beautiful blue gray and it it looks more like a mint green on the cabinets like i have pearly mint green cabinets right now and i am not happy so we went back to the store today and we were going to get more of a uh, like a darker blue um, or a darker gray and we went a little bit bolder and got this beautiful blue and uh, it's called it's Sherwin Williams it's called um, blustery sky so uh, Sydney loved it <laughs> correct so if um, if it doesn't work out, then it's her fault. What do you think? It's coming along. It is hard. It is hard remodeling anytime, but when you're living there and when you have a decent sized family, it's even harder. Um, it got to me last night. I actually had like a bit of a breakdown yesterday. I was just like done. I was done. I was like, I just started crying. I had to just take a minute in my room and just sit and pray. And um, let me just show you a little bit about why it's so hard. This is our breakfast, our broccoli and mushrooms. And I got eggs. I've already cooked our bacon. Um, our food is being like put on our bed while I'm cooking it. Um, our silverware is on the floor in our bedroom. Here's our coffee maker covered with dust on a chair in our bedroom. Plus it's just so hard when uh, I've had wonderful other people caring for my kids most of the week, but it's like I just miss them because this is so not like a typical week for us. Um, we're not in any kind of routine. We are behind on our schoolwork, so we'll be working over the holidays on school. Um, I just miss them. I just miss them. And then I'm so tired when they're home that it's like I don't have the energy to really play with them or talk to them or read to them. I just want to go to sleep. So this is hard. Just hard all around for everybody. So for all those people out there who are commenting about our uh, professional home remodeling skills. This is a little reality check. You want to tell them what happened this morning? Yeah, we uh, we were staining, or not staining, yeah, we were staining. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> yeah, we were grouting the tile and um, didn't realize that the black grout would stain the wood countertop so easily. So every little piece, every little speck of grout that landed on the top stained it gray. So now we have to sand them and start over.
the major part of the remodel, which was the kitchen, living room, hallway that we started before Thanksgiving is going to be done today.